Welcome to Live a Better Life Tarot Channel. Please share and subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Your donations are welcome and appreciated. If you are new to my channel, please watch the featured video. It should shed some light on the way I do, my readings and my approach overall. The reading you are about to watch cannot and will not resonate with everybody. However, if it does, I hope it helps you live a better life one way or the other. Let's begin. Hi Aries, this is your weekly May 24th through May 30th tarot reading. Let's talk about your work or your business situation first. We've got the Knight of Pentacles, the Hermit and Temperance. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn or uh, Sagittarius. Um, looks like somebody did a lot of soul searching, somebody took some time off to think about something and they are here or they could be back this week to make you an offer. Perhaps uh, you rejected an offer in the past and they had to go back and uh, do some magic in terms, of, uh, in terms of numbers. It could have been an offer letter, it could have been uh, a contract proposition if you run your own business, you know, things like that. Whatever it was, um, they, um, they're basically the main idea is somebody is going to make you a very tangible, very serious offer. Somebody could be in uh, bearing gifts. If uh, you are looking for a new job and if you didn't like the f their offer the first time around, they could be coming back with a you know, sign up bonus check or something like that. Basically, um, Expect a very tangible, very serious offer from somebody. Um, it could be a race as well, and uh, they're here to, uh, you know, make it right. They they really want you to be on board with uh, their offer, and they will uh, try really hard to persuade you. Areas if you are in an established love relationship such as marriage or a long-term partnership, this spread is for you. We've got the Four of Wands, the Chariot, the Two of Swords clarified by the Emperor. We also have the Page of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune on the bottom of the deck. Um, you could be dealing with uh, Cancer or another Aries. Um, what I'm feeling here is that there was uh, something was stalling, something was not moving forward recently or this is something you will be this is a situation you'll be facing this week where a decision will have to be made and one of you most likely your partner or your spouse will be um, not sure but I think you're going to push through it you are going to insist on something and uh, this will finally move forward See how the Two of Swords is clarified by the Emperor? The Two of Swords is somebody closed off, somebody is not sure. But since it's clarified by the Emperor, I think you are vetoing <laughs> this unsureness. And you just, you're you having it your way. You are um, making sure that whatever is going on between you and your significant other is starting to move forward. Um, I do like the Four of Wands here. This is a card of... a. Uh, um, stable and happy relationship so this card symbolizes the relationship you're in and we do have the two cards of uh, forward movement the chariot and the wheel of fortune um, on the bottom of the deck um, this the chariot could be cancer you're dealing with but most likely this is like I said um, the relationship moving forward the wheel of fortune is all about you know starting a new cycle uh, starting a new chapter um, it could have been a question of whether you are going on a trip or going somewhere in the near future and uh, like I said earlier you are going to make sure that the decision is made in your favor um, you could be communicating about it back and forth a little bit with your um, significant other and eventually you are going to make the final decision to uh, get the show on the road Aries, if you're on the quest for new love, this part is for you. We've got the Two of Pentacles, the Chariot, uh, the Moon clarified by the Wheel of Fortune, and we also have the Lovers on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with um, Cancer, Pisces, or uh, Gemini. And uh, by the way, we do have four major Arcana cards out of five cards, so this 
new person is going to be very significant in your life. Very significant because the lovers could be either a choice or a Gemini you're dealing with or this could be the love of your life. This could be your twin flame or soulmate. Basically, like I said, somebody who will impact your life in some way. Uh, we do have the Two of Pentacles as the first card. So, um, somebody is not sure whether they want to um, move this relationship forward or not. And I am getting this feeling that you already know this person. So, perhaps the two of you were sort of thinking about whether you want to give this uh, relationship a go. <laughs> it could have been from uh, the perspective of just one of you or both. Right, because uh, the Two of Pentacles is so, kind of similar to the Lovers. Both are about choices, right? Um, we do have the Chariot card here. This is either a Cancer you're dealing with, or this is the uh, energy of um, this relationship. That the uh, what's on the line is the forward movement. This is kind of similar to the. Uh, uh, established love relationship spread I did for you a few seconds ago, but uh, it could be a different situation. Um, the Moon card is clarified by the Wheel of Fortune. This is most likely, like I said, somebody is not sure, somebody has doubts about moving forward here. Um, so, um, probably this week this will finally be resolved and the decision will be made, a choice will be made about this uh, partnership, about this new relationship, whether it should uh, move forward or not. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Aries, this week. Uh, we've got the King of Swords, the Eight of Swords, clarified by the Page of Swords. We we'll also have the Four of Wands and the Chariot. You could be dealing with an Air Sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or uh, Cancer. We do have lots of swords, so uh, it's all about thoughts, I guess, this <laughs> week and this X. Keep in mind, it could be somebody from a couple of weeks ago, a couple of months ago, maybe a year ago. So most likely you are dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. The king, that's what the uh, King of Swords here represents. And either you or them are really up in their head about, um, you know, reaching out to you and uh, asking if there is a chance that there could be a reconciliation between the two of you. Um, so what we do have on the line is the four of uh, ones. This is the card of a stable and happy relationship, right? Some people call it the 11-11 card, so perhaps um, your ex is still feeling some kind of a significant connection t to you. And uh, I, I'm I have a feeling they will reach out to you, but uh, the problem here, like I said, we do have lots of swords. I don't see any cops cards, so this is a matter of uh, just checking in to see where things are. That's the vibe I'm getting, but I could be wrong. It could be just that they're up in their head and uh, emotions are hidden deep inside, <laughs> beneath all their thoughts, right? That happens. Um, we do have the chariot card. This is um, the outcome. I specifically asked what the outcome is going to be and the chariot card uh, came out. This is uh, most likely a forward movement or somebody could be, they could be coming to see you. Um, you could be going on a trip if the two of you reconcile or you could be com going to see them. Basically the chariot in this spread I think is a positive card. This is, uh, like I said, uh, the forward movement card in this particular spread. But I think it will still be up to you whether you want to uh, get the show back on the road if you want to rekindle this uh, relationship. Let's see if anything will surprise you, um, Aries, this week. We've got the Two of Swords, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Six of Swords. I think the surprise of this week is um, if you've been waiting for something, unfortunately, this is not going to come through for you. So because uh, circumstances have changed. Um, somebody is um, not going to be, or somebody will be retracting an offer or something like that. Something will basically fall through for you. 
unfortunately. But I don't see anything critical here. I don't see anything crucial here. It's just that, um, you know, things like that happen. It could be a small surprise if you're waiting to hear from somebody or if you were waiting for someone to do something for you. They will just say they're sorry, but, you know, circumstances have changed and they're doing it in some other way or they're not doing something at all anymore and uh, basically they are retracting their offer you know things things are no, among those lines um, but like I said it's nothing too serious it's just that you know things happen life happens um, and this will surprise you this week and there you have it this was your tarot reading for this time period I hope it resonated with you and helps you live a better life one way or the other. Thank you for watching, sharing and subscribing.